rising, rising to you all. You already know what we finna do. We finna get into these messages and see what our Elohim wants us to know at this time. We're going down the zodiac line. And we're going to do tarot first. And the tarot is going to determine your oracle. We're on Aries right now. We're going to see what's going on with the Aries at this time. What's going on with the Aries? What's going on with the Aries? What's going on with the Aries? What does our Elohim want us to know about the Aries at this time? What's going on with the Aries? What's going on with the Aries? What's going on with the... Oh, Aries ain't talking. What's going on with the Aries? I did see the two of pentacles about to peak. Maybe Aries is juggling a lot right now. Aries juggling a lot right now. Okay, seven of pentacles. We have some Aries here that could uh could be uncertain about what they work what they're working hard towards or what they're working hard for at this time. We have some jealousy here too as well here with the five of swords. We have some Aries is going to have to surrender some things here. Because with this magician, this is you. With the five of wands, you're manifesting chaos. You could be a mother. Or if you're manifesting chaos for an inference, justice will come in for that. Justice and balance. Yeah, it's beeping out out um it's a beeping noise happening outside you may want to back up and that's that beeping noise when a when one of them big trucks is in reverse you may want to back up you're trying to manifest chaos for an empress <laughs> And that is the truth. You're trying to manifest chaos for an empress. Somebody that you jealous of. I don't know whether you're a masculine or a feminine. Um, Aries or somebody trying to do this to you. But it looked like you're trying to do this to them with this magician five of wands and the empress and the justice. You could be trying to do this to you could be you could be trying to do this to a Pisces, Taurus, Libra. Double confirmation of a Libra. But whatever you do with this page of cups, you're going to be sorry about it or maybe want to apologize here. Or you could be trying to apologize or kiss somebody ass to get some sort of victory here. But something may end up blowing up in your face because something is going to be illuminated here. But whatever you're doing, you have a lack of experience. Yeah, you may want to back up trying to cause chaos for whoever this is you're trying to cause chaos for. Or if somebody trying to cause some type of chaos to you, they may want to back up. Whatever you've been working hard towards, whatever direction 
you've been trying to go in, you thinking about letting it go with this Eight of Cups here. Because you've been taking some sort of action towards a... Whatever direction this is that you was going in, you may be thinking about letting it go. Because you was going against and taking action towards somebody complete happiness here. For the masculine... For the feminines, you was going against somebody's complete happiness, and at the end of the day, you're gonna your karma is going to you're gonna end up at a loss. You're gonna end up in the five of cups. Because this queen of wands, that is you. For the masculines, I'm seeing you walking towards you walking away from going against your complete happiness here. Because this Emperor card is you, this Aries card here, and then we have the Ten of Pentacles, and then we have the Hierophant, Taurus energy, Six of Pentacles, you know, balance here. You could want a gift, you, you could want to have a higher form of commitment with someone that you see as family, and you want to gift them, but this person could be like the King of Swords to you. This is another this is another masculine here. This person could be the king of swords to you. This person is either a Taurus, a Leo, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or a Scorpio. Double confirmation of a Leo, double confirmation of a Taurus. You see them as family. You 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 see this person as somebody you want to build with, equal give and take. But somebody is like the king of swords on you. They thinking more with their head and not with their heart. They also feel like they'll get karma for whatever this lover situation is. Um... Double confirmation of a Scorpio in a Gemini. But listen, they feel like they're going to get karma for whatever this lover situation is, so they want to put an end to it with this death card. Whatever is going on. Some of y'all feel like y'all lost somebody too here. The judgment was peaking and sticking up too. Some of y'all feel like y'all lost somebody. A lot of y'all uh, Aries are being directed and called spiritually guided to balance things out here the justice card and you're the way you the way you balance things out with the justice card is by revealing what's hidden the truth the hidden truth some of y'all are be being spiritually guided to reveal that hidden truth Some of y'all are also being called to receive spiritual guidance so that you can overcome the obstacles in your life and get justice in your life. There's also hidden forces. Some of y'all need a spiritual rebirth to wake up, to wake the hell up and get that healing here. But some of you all are being called to reveal some type of truth here with this justice. Y'all could be stressed out about it, but this Ace of Swords, the truth. Y'all trying to hold back from this truth. Call yourself just letting it go or walking away. 
But no, it's something that you actually need to take action. It's something you actually need to take action towards and balance out here. For some of y'all, y'all, y'all happiness, y'all, y'all ten of cups and ten of pentacles uh, lies in the hands of that. You telling the truth and revealing the truth and being honest. Instead of trying to hide the truth. Yeah, we have the seven of swords here. About some sort of hidden enemy. Y'all know something about a hidden enemy. And y'all need to communicate. To, we have, yeah, we have the Knight of Cups. Y'all know something about a lie. In a hidden enemy of somebody. Y'all know about sneaky, underhanded things that have been done here. And it's time for y'all to, you know, communicate, give this message here. We have Queen of Cups that came right after that. This could be you, Aries. You could know. Hold on. She in the back. I think she's asleep. She's she asleep. Uh-huh. Eric might be too. But um, it's either this is you, Aries, and you need to have a heart. Or you need to communicate something to a Queen of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpio that you is something that you know. Yeah, with this death, it could be, um, It could be a Scorpio or a Cancer Feminine. It could be a Pisces too, but it could be a Scorpio or a Cancer Feminine that you, or somebody, a friend that you celebrated with here. Um, you know something. You know about a lie. You know about a hidden enemy. And it's something that you need to let, it's something that you need to let your friend know. about whatever this is. Your friend could be a high priestess with this high priestess coming out, or this is just the knowledge that you have about this three of pentacles and people teaming up against your friend. And you need to let, you need to let it be known because you know about it. The seven of swords is falling right on top of the three of pentacles. You know about these enemies. You know about this teamwork. You know about it. You could have walked away from this team. You could have let it go. It was too stressful, too burdensome. Queen of Wands with the Five of Cups. Maybe you walked away after getting a clear understanding. You could be a masculine or a feminine Aries. You walked away from these stress and burdens here. And then we have the five of cups. Because you felt at a loss. Maybe after gaining some type of clear understanding here. 
but it's something that you it could be some type of message or something that you want to communicate and you need to do that yeah illumination some of y'all are walking away towards the sun Or some of y'all could be walking away uh, from a sun energy or a Leo energy here. Somebody that you celebrated with, three of cups. Or they walking away from you. There was a lot of confusion here. But somebody is definitely turning their back on betrayal here, leaving something out in the cold. Yeah, somebody is surrendering something here. Somebody surrendering some sort of uh, abundance and then some sort of cycle here. Something about spiritual entrapment with this uh, hermit and the uh, Eight of Swords. But what I'm getting from this message is whatever you know, you need to uh, you need to say because you know something about this Knight of Pentacles, and you know something about these attacks that one was doing to persevere over another. something about some sort of opportunity with this ace of pentacles and this partnership we have the emperor again which this is you you know something about a lover's situation here you know about this instability you know about this juggling we have communication here you could be communicating something to a family here or a higher font and it could upset this higher font. It could be heartbreaking here. But you seen something with this page of swords. You you seen something and you need to let it be known what you know and what you've seen or what type of act was caused here. You could be communicating to your matriarch or somebody else's or you could be communicating something to your family about uh, some sort of higher font group some type of coven or a higher font or you could be watching a higher font and heart and you feel at a loss or upset or heartbroken You need to communicate what you know about some type of sacrifice or whatever the case may be. It is. Look, and what I'll just say the hangman with the king of pentacles in the tower. You better let it be known about some type of sacrifice that y'all that you know about. Or whatever you know about this Pisces, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. You know something is going to cause some type of tower here. You know about somebody gifting a King of Swords, Knight of Wands. You know, so, you know about somebody gifting a Gemini. Libra, Aquarius, or a Sagittarius here. You know about it. You know about this Pisces, Scorpio, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, gifting 
with this six of pentacles this king of swords knight of wands something and if you want to clear your mind and you don't want to live in regret you need to say something about it with this four of cups you need to say something about it because this is this could be why you're receiving such strong karma because of the past here whatever karma you had to experience here you experienced this karma and was going through these things because of this, this whatever this is in the past <laughs> confirmation so you know and maybe you're worried about conflict arguments chaos but that's going to be in your home until you you're going to see darkness until you tell the truth because you know the truth you may not want somebody to get karma you may not want um, this Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, or Leo to get some sort of karma because this could be your or Sag or Gemini or Libra because this could be your family or your friends or people that you grew up with but you're going to suffer until you tell the truth Three of Swords, Ace of Swords you're going to and you, you may not want to upset these people and break their hearts but you you need to tell the truth because you got the ace of swords you know the truth and the clarity about whatever this is or you will be imprisoned you're going to end up going to jail it's, it, it will be action taken against you and this is being communicated to you eight of wands because this magician card is you 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 will be entrapped in whatever this is you're going to be entrapped in whatever this is, and you may end up in physical or spiritual jail until you have the inspiration to speak out with this page of swords and stop holding it in. You're holding back four of pentacles instead of speaking out. So because you're holding back with this four of pentacles and not speaking out page of swords about this manipulation here, whatever this money is, ten of pentacles about this manipulation you will be entrapped or you will be going you will be fa facing prison and jail time action will be taken against you knight of swords and this is the communication here because you know whether you're Aries, masculine, or feminine, you know. Look, the fool. Here you go again. You might as well, uh, you better follow your instincts. Or you're going to reap. You're going to reap. So if you feel like um, you want to reap for these people, then reap for them. Because you're going to reap the karma. You're going to reap the karma. You know the truth. Look, King of Wands with the Ace of Swords. You know. You could have somebody could have partnered up and offer some type of abundance or partnership here, but it's gonna have listen, four of swords. Somebody gonna end up in a hospital sick, five of cups, you're gonna be at a loss. And you're gonna juggle instability. And it ain't just got to happen to you. This is about suffering. It could even happen to whatever you love here. Even your work with this Eight of Pentacles, whatever plan, whatever commitment here, you could be panicking and worrying here.
you could be in a nine of swords it could be something that you're embarrassed by or whatever the case may be but you need to tell the truth look you need to speak out page of swords you need to speak out you need to find a love within yourself and you need to speak out here or you're going to end up battling and struggling with some type of death and since you don't want to do that this will be your this will be granted wishes for you here in the hospital six somewhere in the five of cups facing some type of loss whether it's somebody that you love or whether it's you but there's going to be some type of struggle with death here So let's see what oracle for this I'm pulling confessions. <gasps> confessions. confessions here okay somebody's flake fake flexing somebody's broke as a bag of glass in the trash okay somebody's also a drunk bitch masculine or feminine or somebody you know is dealing with this here we have options somebody has a lot of options somebody has a cold heart and somebody been doing spells Somebody also stopped taking birth control to get pregnant on purpose, too, as well here. Yep, somebody is under judgment for doing these spells. May want to stop doing that, too, as well here. You have mental illness being indicated. Somebody is bay in your face and everybody's bay behind your back. We have third part. Yep, third parties and entanglements coming right after that. Okay. You could be saying F your ex, but you could be chasing them or being chased by them. Some of you are a woman scorned here, or a woman scorned could be chasing somebody down. Yeah, somebody has some regrets here. Somebody might end up going to jail, locked up, they won't let me out. And we also have medications to treat gonorrhea, chlamydia, or other STDs. We also have drug addictions here, whether that be weed, pills, meth, cocaine. Somebody can regret, have regrets about these drug addictions here because we do have, I'm locked up, they won't let me out. And then also medications to treat STDs. Somebody has a lot of regrets. Maybe, maybe... Uh, you or somebody else, these regrets are eating at you. And this is why you have these drug addictions here. We have shady dealings here. A lot of shady dealings. A lot of raw sex. A lot of always looking for stand-ins. A lot of investigating and look, looking up into somebody else's business too as well here. Somebody got caught cheating online and they guilty here. Guilty of, of fucking over other people with no shame. Somebody has some shady dealings online. Somebody also been tracking somebody else's moves here. Got it, some type of GPS on them. Somebody been trying to catch somebody on camera or something is going to get caught on camera. Maybe even some type of fight here. Somebody's in bondage mentally for the way they fuck over other people. Somebody could smoke tobacco or have some unhealthy habits. Tobacco, McDonald's. Okay. Any other confessions for the Aries? Somebody always wondering where them dollars at. Somebody been doing blood magic on somebody and somebody got undesirable test results here. 
could be uh, we, you have divine masculine here. There's going to be a masculine end up going to jail here with these fake friends. Or because of fake friends. Yeah, somebody, somebody could be all in their head because they know they fucked up. Somebody be paying for sex too as well here. Something is going on on social media. Somebody is sometimes gay for pay here. Okay. Could be a strength energy, Leo energy. Somebody is also known for ghosting. Also, somebody stopped taking a birth control to get pregnant on purpose. We also have here, fuck boy alert, keep your distance, STD, STI indicated, and, and mental, mentally in bondage for the way they fucked over others. Any other confessions for the Aries? Fake flexing. Two-faced it. Hate messages. Lick like love. Be licking and liking and loving on everything. Karma. Somebody could be uh, feeling anxiety too as well. Somebody splitting the deck. Somebody's also watching somebody angrily in the background here. Somebody could be suffering from anxiety because somebody a liar right after that. A snake. Somebody could feel like a loser. But you need to tell the truth. Or you will be receiving karma until you do. You're going to keep getting karma until you tell the truth. Somebody could be a dick dealer here. Use mind fuckery. That crazy bitch back at it again. With these uh, medications for gonorrhea, chlamydia, and other STDs. Somebody be going to see strippers. Somebody be messing with old people for money. And somebody a sneaky bitch and a manipulator here. Yep, lick like love. That's how they get their manipulation done here. Somebody is also abusive. Somebody could be abusive towards you or you towards them. We have eat the cake anime. Somebody got caught cheating here. We have sorry, not sorry. Somebody not sorry about getting caught cheating or whatever they was doing. Somebody always in their phone. Always in their phone, okay? We have here at the bottom of the deck. Please keep your distance. Fuck boy alert. Somebody feel neglected here. Somebody seen a lot of violence as a child. Somebody could also be guarded. And somebody been either paying. Uh, black magic indicated. Somebody either been paying for some money. Somebody money to be bought up. Or somebody been given money. To get some type of black magic done. There's black magic. Blood magic. Spells all up in this reading but all I know is I see for you Aries and it don't look like this is for somebody else because you kept popping out this is for you let me make sure because but that's what it looked like this ain't this, this don't look like something that you need to get a heads up with Is this an actual Aries? Is this the actual Aries here? Energy. Is this something that they need a heads up on? No. Yeah, this is you. And that's what I was getting from this. This is you. But, uh, you're going to receive karma until you, um,. You're just going to keep getting karma until you tell the truth. And you're going to suffer heartbreak and loss. And also death is surrounding you and whomever else. You're going to have a battle with death. So. The song that I keep. I got to look it up though because I don't know it. I know it. It got something to do with future, the song for this read.
Future Honest. That's the song. Future Honest. That's the song for this read. Future Honest. We're going to get a grateful heart message because even through all of this negativity, it's still something to be grateful for, to get a chance to even tell the truth. To gain some type of relief. So we're going to pull a grateful heart message for this read, please, for the Aries. Masculine and feminine here. For the Aries, masculine and feminine here. It says here, Yahweh bless you and keep you. Yahweh make his face shine upon you. Yahweh is gracious to you. So you're receiving grace. It says here, Oh, Yahweh, you are so good, so ready to forgive, so full of unfailing love for who all ask for your help. The divine wants you to lean on him instead of caring about others and what other people think. It says here, Yahweh, if Yahweh is for me, I will have no fear. What can mere people do to me? Oh, uh, and then at the bottom we have here every good per every good and perfect gift is from above coming down from the father of the heavenly lights so i hope you all got a message from this read that'll help you along your journey know that yahweh loves you please like share and subscribe and i'll see you all later peace